Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and uh, this is an update on something we talked about a few weeks ago. I was mentioning that Windows 10 and the desktop, uh, as this is the new name, by the way, Microsoft insists now on calling Windows 10 that we have on our laptops, desktop computers, the Windows 10 desktop version. Um, of course, we have two updates a year. We had the main 2020 update now we're going to have a cumulative update uh, later this year but it's one major update now every year since last year 2019 of course when that happened last year everybody was kind of happy you know we want to have a update but we don't want to have two major updates a year which is way too much and really no operating system does two major updates a year and on pc you know, it's kind of delicate to do so. So last year, they did one big update, which was the May 2019 update. But the fall update that they still insist calling on the feature update was actually a, kind of a service pack, a cumulative update. And that wasn't too bad. This year is going to be the same. We just had the May 2020 update and it's still rolling out, actually. But what's interesting is that n this fall... The 20H2 version, the next version of Windows, is just, once again, a service pack, a cumulative update. That is also a welcome change. Now, Mary Jo Foley of AllAboutMicrosoft.com was talking today about how Windows 10X, the news that she has on Windows 10X from sources that, you know, it's delayed and there's a lot of things happening there. We talked about it in a previous video. But she also mentioned something that she heard, and it's that... Starting 2021, there will be one major update a year of Windows 10, and that's it. So that's, once again, a confirmation that we are going to get one major update a year, and that's it. Which is the standard in the operating systems, honestly. If you look at Android, if you look at um, you know Mac OS, um, even if you look at Linux, most versions have one big update per year, and that's it nothing more you don't want to have more than that anyways and it's useless to put you know the user to the test and the stress of having these big updates all the time so this is good news and one of the reasons why actually uh, has uh, she was saying that the updates will be once a year is the fact that some of the resources of windows 10 desktop right now some engineers will be actually put on Windows 10X, which right now, the way that it actually will come out next year looks like a big failure from the start. You cannot use Windows, you know, they shouldn't even call it Windows if it can't run any Windows apps, and that, that's for sure. So, how will that change it probably gonna it probably just means that it's gonna be like it is now, which means that, you know, Cumulative update coming up this fall. We would have one big update next year. But what one thing that would change is apparently that big update would be moved to the fall. That means we would get a big update um, in the second part of 2021. So that means if we do get an, an update this fall for the cumulative update... It technically could take a year before we get another update, a major update. So this is interesting. Um, this means changes to the way that Windows is being sent to us in that famous Windows as a service that I talked about how it's a kind of a failure, if you want, uh, last week. So we'll be checking that out because I think it's interesting to note this. And it is a good news, I think, for everybody that the update great pace of windows 10 is going to slow down and relax at the same time if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching